Ladies and gentlemen, members of the committee, we are here today to consider the impact of government spending on our economy. We're fortunate to have two world-renowned economists to offer their testimony on the matter. I see you took a detour down the road to serfdom. Talk about the end of laissez-faire. <laughs> well, shake it off, Freddy. I'm not pulling any punches in there. I'm ready. Are you? Prepare for the return of the master. <laughs> John Maynard Keynes, F.A. Hayek, round two, round 2.0. Same economists, same beliefs, new microphones, new mustaches. We could have done better had we only spent more Too bad that only happens when there's a world war You too only see what you want to see The spending on war clearly goose GDP Unemployment was over, almost down to zero That's why I'm the master, that's why I'm the hero Creating employment's a straightforward crap When the nation's at war and there's a draft If every worker was staffed in the army and fleet We'd have full employment and nothing to eat People work to live better, to put food on the shelves. Real growth means production of what people demand. That's entrepreneurship, not your central plan. My solution is simple and easy to handle. It's spending that matters. Why is that such a scandal? Money sloshes through the pipes and the sluices, revitalizing the economy's juices. It's just like an engine that's stalled and gone dark. To bring it to life, we need a quick spark. Spending's the lifeblood that gets the flow going. Where it goes doesn't matter. Just get spending flow. You see slack in some sectors as a general glut. But some sectors are healthy, only some in a rut. So spending's not free, that's the heart of the matter. Too much is wasted as cronies get fatter. The economy's not a car, there's no engine to stall. No expert can fix it, there's no it at all. The economy's us, we don't need a mechanic. Put away the wrenches, the economy's organic. Which way should we choose? Unemployed. This is the question you seem to avoid. When we're in a mess, would you have us just wait doing nothing until markets equilibrate? I don't want to do nothing. There's plenty to do. The question I ponder is who plans for whom? Do I plan for myself or leave it to you? I want plans by the many, not by the few. Let's not repeat what created our troubles. I want real growth, not a series of bubbles. Stop bailing out losers. Let's prices work. If we don't try to steer them, they won't go berserk. Come on, are you kidding? Don't Wall Street gyrations challenge a worldview of self-regulation? Even you must admit that the lesson we've learned is more oversights needed or else we'll get burned. Oversight? The government's long been in bed with those Wall Street execs and the firms that they bled. Capitalism's about profit and loss. You bail at the losers, there's no end to the cost. The lesson I've learned is how little we know. The world is complex, not some circular flow. The economy's not a class you can master in college. To think otherwise is the pretense of knowledge. Which way should we choose? Case by case.
safe spaces When people are suffering, I roll up my sleeves And do what I can to cure our disease The future's uncertain, our outlooks are frail That's why free markets are so prone to fail In a volatile world, we need more discretion So state intervention can counter depression People aren't chessmen, you move on a board at your whim Their dreams and desires ignored With political incentives, discretion's a joke Those dials are twisting, just mirrors and smoke We need stable rules and real market prices So prosperity emerges and cut short the crisis Give us a chance so we can discover the most valuable ways to serve one another. Which way should we choose? Both bottom up, both more top down. The fight continues. Gains in high excitement bound. It's time to win it. Both from the top, both from the ground. Let's listen to the beats. Gains in high, it's going down.